First up is Jaguar Land Rover. JLR has hit the brakes hard last week after a major cyber attack shut down production across its factories, not just in the UK, but worldwide. Thousands of staff have been told to stay at home, luckily on full pay, which is all right for some, while suppliers employing over 6,000 people are currently stuck in limbo. The hackers claiming responsibility say it's their second strike in six months and Jaguar Land Rover has admitted that destruction could last into October. The only good news really to come from this at the minute is that no customer data appears to have been stolen. The bad news, however, is that Britain's biggest car maker is now learning the hard way that ransomware can stop a factory faster than a flat tyre. Right, so let's get into the actual detail of what's actually happened here with Jag Jaguar Land Rover back in sort of, well, it was last week, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so it wasn't a brute force attack or some Hollywood style zero day exploit. The entry point was much simpler. It was an import stealer piece of malware. Now, how did that land on their systems? Well, likelihood it's probably through a phishing link or a dodgy download somebody's clicked. And once it was running on an employee's device, the malware quietly went to work, essentially harvesting all of their information. So whether that's passwords saved from browsers, cookies, active session tokens, anything that it really needed to, to prong an attack. Amongst the stolen credentials were logins for Atlassian, Jira, the tool for Jaguar Land Rover developers, and they use it for managing projects. And here's the major problem with that. These details are in hand and the attackers didn't have to break anything to get them. So they could just log in like a normal user. In some cases, no multi-factor authentication was in place. And in others, they may have bypassed it with stealing session tokens, which they had. From there, Hellcat had the keys to their kingdom. They were able to siphon over 350 gigabytes of data that included property design, proprietary design, sorry, um, source code, development logs, sensitive employee data, partner data. So, you know, the list was endless. This data was either leaked or sold um, on the dark web or leveraged for more information. And why did it work so well? Well, there's a few reasons. Too much res the resilience on passwords being saved in browsers. Again, it's a normal thing. Everybody does it. Limited monitoring on usual logins. So nobody's looking at who's logging in from where. And critically, nobody enforced MFA or conditional access on Jira, the main development platform. So in short, it wasn't exotic wasn't fancy, it was just a case of stolen credentials from an in infected laptop being used to work on. And essentially the attacker walked straight through the door. 